do not store your treasures here on earth because the treasures here on earth are very temporary. Ask anyone who's famous, rich, has a lot of accomplishments. Trust me, they cannot take them, their wealth, their accomplishments with them when they pass away on this earth. Matthew chapter 6 is great for explaining this. Matthew chapter 6, starting in verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moss and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where these do not break through nor steal you see right there it says lay your treasures here on earth and i know no one cares about that they just care about the worldly things that money the girls the pretty you know the fast cars the mansions the success the you know the approval from everybody the love the fame whatever i know that's what people care about but for people that do care about the things of heaven, the things of the Jesus Christ, the things that Jesus Christ says, this video is for you. My point in saying those things is to not store your treasures here on this earth because it doesn't fulfill your soul. It just fulfills your flesh, but even the flesh is never satisfied. So it's only going to fulfill it for a little bit, a little bit of time, and then it goes away. And then you're on to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Like I'm an MMA fighter. I got my first fight coming up. But I don't brag about that or make that my identity or make that my ego and, you know, oh, being a UFC champion is my only goal in life. No, I don't care about that. Yes, I'm trying to do those things just so I can get the UFC microphone and profess my love for Jesus and try to put Jesus on the highest pedestal because he truly gets all the glory and I'm nothing without him. Yes, those things are great. But the thing about that is, Sean Strickland was describing who is a former UFC champion. He has money, he has fame. He's a former UFC champion, but yet he's still mentally unwell. And I feel like the cause of that is truly for anyone that's mentally unwell is they don't have Christ. They don't have Christ at the center of their life. So they're missing a huge hole in their spirit and in their life because they truly do not have Jesus. That is the one thing that people are missing. They may not realize it or admit it, but that's what they're missing. The gambling won't fix it. The money won't fix it. That girl won't fix it. The accomplishments won't fix it. Only Jesus Christ will fix it, believe me. And some people, it takes the whole life never believing in Jesus and then dying and then facing God for the judgment day and then realizing it when it's too late. You know when like you're you're dating that girl at high school or college or whatever and she's a good girl but you just don't realize it at the time for who, whoever's been in that situation, you break up with her and then some time passes and then you kind of realize how great that girl was, but it's too late because you can't get that girl back because she's dating a new guy. You know, I've been there before. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But I have a girlfriend, so it doesn't matter. I'm just giving you an example of don't wait until it's too late. Focus on Jesus right now. And it's the hardest thing in the world to do. There's a trillion distractions that have nothing to do with Jesus, but yet Jesus still wants him to be at the center of your mind and at your heart and at your spirit. So use the Bible just as a, you know, as a roadmap of how you should live your life in a very spiritual way, because it's not easy, but it is worth it. I've never been more fulfilled giving my life to Christ. Am I going to fall? Am I going to sin? Am I going to lust? Am I going to be prideful? Of course, I'm a human. I can't control that. I was born into this world full of sin. All of us were. Adam and Eve's mistake caused all the sin for humanity. But you know what? I'm giving my best. I'm trying my best. I'm going to give it all to Jesus. So praise God for that. And I hope you were encouraged by this message.